Good morning. The word for you today. Today is Thursday, April 11th, and our devotion today is titled, Do What God's Word Says. Our scripture passage comes out of James chapter 1, verse 22, and I'll be reading from the ESV version, and it says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. And we'll continue it. In verse 23, it says, For if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. So the book of James, I remember when I first converted to Christianity, when I first found that receiving grace of Christ, my youth pastor told me the first book I want you to read is the book of James. Now at the time I was a little confused. You know, I just given my life to this Christ guy, just talked about how I wanted to follow Jesus. And then he said, we're not going to go to the Jesus book. We're going to go to the book written by Jesus's brother. And so I had to stop and ask him why. And he explained it pretty simply. He said that James is really great for new believers because what it does is it gives us a simple outline of what we are called to do as Christians. And so that has really stuck with me. While as I've continued to move forward in my study of the word, I've moved more toward other, um, toward other books whenever I'm needing guidance. James has continued to be one that is central to how I reconnect to that first moment of knowing Christ. How I reconnect to that early wonder that God just instills in us whenever we, whenever, whenever we come to trust him. So we're talking about doing what God's word says, and that's a really complex topic. It's really easy for us to take the word and say that it doesn't apply anymore because it was written so long ago. Sometimes we try to overapply it and we get really strict communities that kind of pervert and corrupt what I think God was calling us to do when he commanded us. And so it's trying to find that right balance, and that's really hard. So what do we do about that? Well, first, I think we define what the word is. The word is the central, is the central pillar of Christianity. We believe that the word of God is inspired, and we might disagree on what inspired means, but I think almost every single Christian, if not all, believe that the word of God is inspired. It is divine in nature. There is something completely different about it from other writings. So we remember that fact. We also remember that the word of God was written by humans. So we see, we get to see the worst parts of humanity and the best parts. We get to see how different people interpreted different events. The word of God is inspired by, by God but it's also inspired by human understanding of God. And I think the third thing that I try to remember is that the word of God is flexible. Now, it's not, it's not completely stru without structure, but it's not like a stick either. If I take a stick and I bend it, and I bend it, eventually it'll snap because the tension is too much on it. The word of God, on the other hand, can bend as much as it needs to, and it'll never snap. The word of God is flexible, not because we can make it say whatever we want, but because it is able to conform, to change, to adapt to the needs of people now. It's able to take the truths that were so clear and so present at the, at the, mount, at the mountain of Sinai, at the cross of Jesus, at the, at the church at Corinth. It's able to take these truths and these truths are able to transcend, to rise above time and space, culture and language. And these truths are able to be universally applicable to people of all religions, of all faiths of all denominations, of all races and genders, and everything. 
the word of God is essential for us to follow. Not because, not because it is the only way to get to heaven, but because it is the best work of art that God has done in revealing himself to us in a way that we as people can understand it. So, how do we do what God's word says? We read it. We question it. We ask others about it. We talk about it. And we try to follow through it. And sometimes we're going to mess up, and that's okay. But sometimes we're going to get it right. And that's a time to rejoice. Have a nice day.